Hello, today I wanted to talk about emergency alerts, one of the more popular services that our communication system can provide your company with. So communication can be delivered to PCs even, even if their uh, computer is locked. And uh, so you don't have to rely on uh, this emails or other uh, types of communications on life-saving information. So uh, you can also uh, form your crisis communication planning and emergency alerts, uh, notification templates, uh, coupled with staff training can help so save lives when there's little time to act. So keeping everyone informed about uh, updates so they can respond is also part of what can be done with emergency uh, notifications. Uh, you can also use corporate wallpaper function to place very important information about what to do in case of an emergency. For example, all the fire exits in the building. And you can also send videos on what to do when uh, something like something happens, uh, an emergency happens. So, uh, what is an emergency alert? It is an alert that is being deployed in a situation that requires a quick way to react and to uh, send uh, to a lot of people. So let's actually talk about color codes. So you can have different types of color codes for the for your emergency alerts. So for example, when we create a uh, an emergency alert about fire in the building, you want to use the red color code. So you can click here and change it to red. Well, and it's not very different from a regular alert, but the main difference is you can send it from a, um, from a mobile application. And so, and you can also create a shortcut that can be used from a, desktop. So we already have a color code so we don't have to create one. So uh, as in with the pop-up alert you need to have the title, you need to have the body of the text, you want to make it high priority and you want to send it to all devices, to emails, maybe even SMS. All right, so let's click next. And usually, uh, when sending to a lot of users, you want to use broadcast function, but this is a demo and that functionality is disabled. But if you have the full package, you will have uh, the broadcast. So, and then you just save it. So, and now it's part of the emergency alerts. The one, that, uh, this one, fire in a building I made. So, you can go back to the dashboard. And you can see here, a widget uh, has all the different uh, emergency alerts. So, I click send. And... It will be oh, accidentally sent it two times, but uh, with emergency alerts, it's not uh, it's it's not that uh, it's not that important. All right. So uh, the other thing, uh, you can also create a shortcut. So, for example, I want to create a shortcut for this particular uh, em uh, <clears throat> emergency alert here. So. You need to download this file here. Sometimes the Windows will tell you that it doesn't like it. All right, so now we have downloaded the Discord's API and also the bat file, the batch file that uh, will send the alert. So let's actually go ahead and double click on this. And sometimes it will tell you 
that Windows is protecting your PC, so you just click run anyway. And we should receive it shortly. So here it is. So that's how you send from a desktop. So the other thing you can also do is use a mobile application. You can download it from Google Play and all you have to do is just enter your uh, dashboard URL, um, enter your username password for the administrator and then you can send it that way. So this uh, wraps up the emergency alert uh, module for desk alerts communication solution.